All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. I want to say thanks to all the new subscribers. We just hit 200 subscribers and it's been like pretty quickly and I really appreciate everyone's comments and, and subscriptions and likes and everything like that. It really means a lot. Um, if you guys enjoy the content, let me know. Let me know what other content you guys like and uh, we can go from there. So uh, with that being said, uh, the topic of this video is what's the salary of a network engineer? And this question gets asked a lot. You know, it's maybe people are giving you wrong information and telling you things that are incorrect. I'm going to be here to kind of just disclose everything to you and kind of keep it very simple, very like pinpoint and just explain things that are very clear. So, um, and I'm going to keep it real. I'm not going to say you can make a quarter million dollars a year in your first year as a network engineer, or you can make, you know, 150 K a year, uh, your first job, which is, you know, that's possible potentially, uh, depending on your market, but uh, we'll get into this. So, um, beginners, right? Beginner engineers, guys who are just breaking into the industry, uh, the typical salary you can expect as a brand new engineer is between 70 and 90 K. Okay. Simple as that 70, 90 K. I'm going to give you guys ranges because, um, it really just depends on your guys' market, right? Um, you guys can be from Texas. You guys could be from Seattle. You guys could be from Cali, New York, Florida. The market is different for every, for every situation, but uh, a good rule of thumb is, is to always go 10 to 15% or yeah, I would say, yeah, 10 to 15% below what a software engineer makes in your current market. And that's what you can expect for network engineers. Uh, network engineers are not paid as much as software engineers or cloud engineers or cybersecurity. Um, it's, it, in fact, it's, I would say it's the lowest in terms of the IT ranges, but don't assume that as that's a con like, Oh, I'm not going to get into network engineering because you can only make so-and-so. Um, it's not that bad. I mean, um, yes. Is it lower? Yes, it is. But think of that as a blessing, right? I mean, you guys are, that means there's less competition, which there definitely is. And I've showed evidence of it before. Um, but you know, th th that shouldn't be a huge con. So uh, going back to the salary, the typical salary range is between 70 and 90 K for beginner engineers. Um, in, in that case, and then going on for maybe two to not two to like five years, you can expect from 90 to about 115. That's like the, the expected ranges that you can, uh, uh expect for like a mid tier engineer, uh, from, from, from there. Um, and then going on to like expert level, maybe five years or even four years plus experience, you can expect from like 120 to potentially 140, 150 really depends on your market. And that's just the standard range. So it's nothing crazy. You're not going to see these ex exorbitant salaries of like, you know, 250 or 300 K or 350 K that you could, you'd see with software engineering, um, is especially this market. And, and like I said, obviously it, it could be different if you guys are working for Fang or working for these higher tech. Um, tech companies, but this particularly for network engineers, that's a typical range. And, and the good, like I said, the good rule of thumb is to go 10 to 15% below what software engineers make. And that can give you a, a, a good idea um, for your market. And like I said, every market is different. Obviously, if you're in Seattle, it's going to be different from Texas, right? Because obviously the cost of living uh, factors into that um, and, and, and multiple reasons, but that's what you can expect. Uh, so if you guys are brand new engineers, um, I would expect between 70, 90 K if you're like fresh and brand new, um, and always make sure you're actually paying attention to the position that you're applying to. Cause obviously there's like network admin roles where you can maybe make like 50 to 60 to 70 K. Um, but like I said, if for network engineers, if you're working on actual, like actual routers and switches, and you're actually doing tasks that a network engineer would do, then you can expect those ranges. And you know, in, in my, in my case, um, I started in that particular range as, as a beginner and I've been in the, in the industry for about two and a half years now. And I'm now I've gotten, gotten to the closer to that range of the, the mid tier engineer. So that's what, what you guys can expect for the salary ranges. I, like I said, I'm keeping it real. I'm keeping it raw. Um, it really just depends, right? I can't give you a, like, even if you're outside of the U S I can't give you those numbers. I'm giving you numbers just straight, straight from the U S from my anecdotal evidence that I've experienced that I've seen. And that's just what I'm going to give you guys. And um, if you guys have any questions, just let me know in the comments. Um, what I'm thinking about doing is I'll go ahead and probably show you guys some job boards on LinkedIn and other places that can kind of show you what the salary ranges are, because obviously said, it depends on the market. It depends on your situation. It depends on your experience, but obviously, you know, it, that all that matters and, and factors in. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, I'm going to go ahead and jump right into uh, LinkedIn and I'll let you guys see from there. All right. Welcome back everybody. So just to jump into the salary ranges, um, as you can see here, I just went to Indeed and just typed in Network Engineer United States. Um, it says 96,000, which I would say 
um, is, is is a fair amount. I think they're a little bit lowballing for the average because some people are making ex- like crazy amounts of money as network engineers, like uh, especially like in Silicon Valley. But this is like what I would say is you know a fair amount. I would say it's closer to 100k than it is to 96k. That would I would say is the the average salary range. Um, and keep in mind this might just be base salary, not not including bonuses, not including um, stock options, you know things like that that you might get with some companies that you might work for. Um, so let's now let's just let's just go into some of the jobs and we can you know start from here. So uh, cloud network engineer. I don't want to go into that because that's like cloud. Um, and obviously it's Netflix, which is like Fang, right? Um, so we got Riot, Riot Games, uh, 150 to 200. And keep in mind, this is in California, right? So the high cost of living, the high cost of living means higher pay. So when people say, what's the salary ranges? Before you even ask that question, you have to figure out where you located. Um, but yeah, this is, this is uh, I would say is fair uh, for that range. Uh, senior network engineer. Um, so now we're, now we're going to Minnesota, which is like, you know, mid cost of living. And this is what you would expect for like a senior position uh and obviously it includes bonuses and you get paid overtime so you know that's a decent salary for what i would call a senior um now let's look for just general right so this one doesn't really say the salary ranges some some of the companies are not going to say it um because i believe some states are not required to disclose that information this one seems to be a contract position usually contract positions do pay higher so you can expect and it's usually an hourly rate so you can expect, you know, uh, crazy enough, you can expect like 50 to 70% above what the particular salary is if you're a contractor. But keep in mind, you don't get the benefits, you don't get like the job security, you're just getting paid to work, right? Um, a lot of senior roles are available as well. Uh, network operations, nothing here. Network engineer, uh, nothing available here. Network engineer at Delta, maybe they'll give us a salary. Uh, this is a really cool position. This is in Atlanta as well. Um, cause, funny enough, I used to work at the airlines, and uh, it's such a cool job to have, funny enough. Um, nothing really here. So let's just go back into Indeed. Maybe they'll give us more salary ranges. So uh, senior Linux systems engineer, not really not really specific. Um, the problem with that having network engineering is they're not very specific when it comes to job descriptions, right? They'll say you're a senior Linux systems engineer. Like, what does that mean? Um, it really gets you confused. So you have to really jump into the job description and look and see what you know what sort of technology are you guys going to be doing. Like, it obviously talks about networking tech. Um, seems like there's other stuff involved. Seems like this is a lot of uh, virtual machines involved in here. So, like I said, every position is different. Not every position is the same. This is telecom. I did have a question about telecom engineer. Funny enough, I'm really curious as to what this is involved. Like I said, it, it may as well be just you're a network engineer at ISP. Like that's what I what I assume this to be. So you know, but keep in mind, salary range is forty three to seventy nine. So that's about like eighty to eighty to like uh, ninety hundred k. Um, yeah, something like that. So um, this is telecom engineering. Um, let's see what else we can find. Network engineer. This is at Meta though, so obviously they're gonna pay more. And this is the particular range. Like, and, and Meta is really looking for um, senior level engineers, I would say, because obviously with Meta, they're looking for people who can program. Um, network threat detection. So this is security. Uh, let's see here. AF field engineer, director of engineering. Yeah, a lot of companies are not disclosing their, their pay ranges at all, funny enough. Um, okay, let's take a look at this. Telecom engineer at, um, at at AT&T. So guys, if the the job description, telecom engineer, exact same thing as a network engineer. Um, Ninety to one thirty. So this is like the range I would say from a, for a junior to uh, sort of like a level two engineer who has a, a little bit of experience. Um, and this is at a what, what I call an ISP. So you you guys can see here, this is like the particular ranges that you can expect. I mean. And like between basically just think of it like this you're it's between 95 and 110 that's like the the particular range that you expect especially in the u.s um but yeah it's i mean this one level three so this seems to be like a uh, i don't know what this could be this could be like a little bit of a beginner role so like i say guys um obviously ccna uh, that's something that they look for so uh thank you guys for so much for tuning in when it comes to salary ranges just expect between 70 for like the absolute beginner uh, maybe it's even a network admin role that you get into, maybe not really network engineering. 
to uh, over 150k if you're like senior level or you work in a specific market like Seattle or or, or San Francisco, um, then you could expect that as mu that much. So just a good rule of thumb: expect between if you're a beginner, expect between like 75 to 95. That's like beginner ranges. Uh, mid level ranges 95 to 120, and then and after that senior ranges 120 to whatever 200. So um, thank you guys so much for tuning in. This I just wanted to just show you guys what the salary range is, what to expect. Um, and a little bit about myself as well. So if you guys enjoy the video, uh, give it a thumbs up. If you guys like it and you want to hear more, go ahead, feel free to subscribe and uh, peace.